right now you and I are going to look at the Longest Bates Funnel Gladiator, which is a vibrating jig. Before we get into it, if you like this kind of content, click that subscribe button and be part of the family. If a new vibrating jig or chatter rate is released, then I must check it out. Longest Bates has revealed their new Funnel Gladiator. The Funnel Gladiator is a bladed jig with a concave silicone bib. To give you a better example, think of a dog with that huge round cone around their head. That's what this is. This allows for an immense amount of turbulence and vibration when you retrieve it in. And when you place your favorite trailer on the hook, you get an erratic side-to-side -side swimming action that should call fish in and should get loads of bites. It offers a hand-tied silicone skirt, razor-sharp owner hook, and the jig is finished with a powder coating chip-resistant paint. And I'll keep it real. I've checked out another one of these cone-shaped lures and I wasn't really crazy, but this one is gonna get a lot of use in a couple of ponds that get more pressure. The Longest Bates Funnel Gladiator comes in two weight sizes, half ounce and three quarter ounces, and is available in six colors. Retail price is $10.99. For more information or to purchase one on my Tackle Warehouse affiliate, please see the link in the description below. So I really consider myself a uh, knowledgeable person on chatterbaits. I know the ins and outs, and during the pandemic, it was my go-to bait everywhere I fished. The one thing I liked, or the couple things I liked about this Longest funnel gladiator is that it stays in the upper water column. Uh, it can float to uh, sink down if you let it, but it wanted to stay in that upper middle water column, which I like to fish. The other thing I liked about it is that for whatever reason, while it still had good thumping action, it seemed to reel in very easily. I know it's, it's really light, but it seemed to not have a lot of drag to it, where a lot of times you make a big cast, a long cast with that that jackhammer or whatever chatterbait you're using. And as it comes in, you feel that vibration and that thumping, but it's a little bit tiring to cast and reel it in nonstop. This doesn't have that. Now my downfall is it really needs something to hold those trailers on. That is not a good trailer keeper, but overall, this was a kind of a surprise on how well it looked and how well it worked because it did well with a trailer and it did well without a trailer. And there's a lot of times chatterbaits don't do that. So tell me what you think in the comments below. That's what you got to do. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll see you guys soon. That hook stuck me. Cheers.